Hi everyone, just coming by to say hello because I haven't been able to make any videos or work on any projects for the rest of this week. And um, yeah, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know that I'm okay. I just haven't had the time to do anything else but work and um, be a mom. So tomorrow is Friday and um, I get to have next week off with the three kids in my house. But um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it to see if I can get some crafting done because work has been really um, rough these past couple weeks and I haven't been able to do much. And I'm running very behind on something that I'm supposed to have done and sent. I'm supposed to do a swap with a Christmas theme, and I'm supposed to be sending that, and I've never altered a big box. So I'm halfway there, and I haven't had the time to finish it. So I need to do that this weekend. And um, in that box, I have to make six Christmas cards, and I have no idea why my... Christmas creative mojo is off. I kind of do because I, I have very few holiday things to work with and I have like I don't know. I'm not in a Christmas spirit yet, so it's been it's been hard for me to get those done. So let me share with you a couple of things that I was able to work a little bit on this week. This is um a page that I showed you when I started it and I shared how I created it on my Spanish channel. And for this, I use my creative um, crafters workshop templates for the first time, like the new one that I had gotten, and some like molding paste. So this is what my page ended up looking like. And then I also worked on this other one, but I need to keep on working on it still. And for this one, I used another template that I had. I actually, um, it was, it was left. Um, in the art room of the school and no one wanted it so I ended up inheriting that little template and I really like the flower on it so I used some of the light molding paste with um, with gold acrylic paint on it and that's how my flowers came out and then I used one of the new stamps that I bought on my trip when I went to the US it's this one here and it's let me see it's by I don't even know the brand. Let me see. It's Hero Arts, and it's Chinese um, symbols. And I use the one down here that says Prosperity. So I already I have already covered this background with a red acrylic, and I had that page already done. So I just added these elements to it, and I think I'm going to keep adding some other things here, but not sure yet. I'll figure it out as soon as I have I have um, a little bit more time. And then the other page that I sort of worked on, I had it already done and I really like it, and it's this one here. I don't know, the design on it was very pastelish and I just didn't like the drawing too much. So this was an experiment because I tried covering it with acrylic paints. And since I had used the gel, gel roll by Sakura, the pens, and those are kind of dimensional, when I covered the page with a purple acrylic. I don't know if you can see the color, but my whole image in the background resisted the acrylic and it, it shows through. And I really like the effect it created. So I thought I'd share it with you guys to see what you guys think. But I, I, I kind of think it's, it's really neat looking. So yeah, so that's what I worked on this week, and then I also worked on this, which I'm kind of frustrated about because it's the first Christmas image that I worked on. It's the first time I used um, marker coloring on stamps, and I used a set of markers that I, I and a couple of, um, well actually, <sighs> let me see if I can get my thoughts together. <laughs> My daughter's birthday was on, on the 18th of October, and she wanted some nice markers so that she could do her manga drawings. So she asked for a set of markers. And what I ended up doing was that I ordered some Letra Set Pro markers because the copies are too expensive. So 
so I thought that between her and me, we could get a couple of um, sets of the Pro Markers, which are cheaper. And um, I got some Flex, that's just said Flex Markers, and she got some of the Pro Markers. And then I think I'm going to start getting the basics for the Copics, like the hair tones and the flesh tones and things like that. And then, like, all the bright colors will just use these. But anyways, this was my first um, marker coloring. And I love, love the stamp. Of, I love Santa Claus's. And I like how it, it came out. But um, I'm really frustrated because when I started adding all this dimensional snow at the bottom, for some reason, it got stained with red, even though there was no red, like, close to it. So you can see my coloring on the back. This is supposed to be marker paper that does not bleed. But for some reason, the snow has a pinkish tone to it. And I really like how it turned out, but I'm really frustrated with that. I don't think I can use it for my card, so... I think I'm going to have to start that one over again. But this is what I used for that. I used um, True Snow, the Eileen's True Snow, that I had bought for a project for my for Beatrice, one of my daughters, for her birthday. And I had some of this left over, so I used that. I mixed it in with this one that's glitter, Glittering Snow Text. So that's a mixture of those two. And then I added on top of that some... Distress stickles, the picket fence, and I added, let me see if I can grab that, and then I added also the liquid pearls in the white opal. So all of that is what I used for this bottom part, and for all the, the, like, the fur trimmings on his clothing. I used my Copics, the few skin tones that I have, or flesh tones that I have, I used that on his face. And oops. And then I also used um, the gel pens for the star. And yeah, that's it. So, and oh, and the snow falling down is liquid pearls. So that's what my image looks like. And I'm kind of sad that I have to try this again to see if it works out better with that background. And then the background I did with colored pencils. So, yeah, I also stamped this image that I have to work on. And hopefully I'll get my Christmas mojo and be able to do all those six Christmas cards that I'm supposed to have done and included in my Christmas swap box that I'm supposed to be sending this weekend and I have not finished. So I don't know what's wrong, but um, I don't know if it's because I don't have too many like holiday things to work with, like sentiments and stuff, and maybe it's just because I'm too tired from work. <laughs> but I have not been able to like get motivated enough to get creative on these I have some ideas, I just haven't had the time to like try them out, and then when I finally tried this one out, it got all those, that pink stain on it, and that got me kind of upset, so hopefully I'll be able to get them done for this weekend, and I'll get my mojo back, and I'll be able to create some things. So wish me luck, guys. Anyways, Hugs and kisses to everyone. I hope to be in touch again soon. And send some mojo my way because I need to get these done. My my box is like prepped. The base is done. But nothing else is done on it. And I'm supposed to finish it and send it so that it gets to the swap partner in time. And I have no idea why. I just haven't been able to figure out what out of my few holiday things in my stash I can get to use on this. I have some ideas I need to get to try them. So I'll see you all soon. Take care.